King Henry VIII was building his flagship, the Mary Rose, 500 years ago, right where I'm standing today, in Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. And what's extraordinary and wonderful is that today we still have most of the contents on display. After many years of active service, the Mary Rose was sunk in the Solent just outside Portsmouth, fighting to repel a French invasion. That was in 1545. But it was in 1982 that the world's largest underwater excavation raised the hull to the surface. Perhaps you, like me, were watching the television with your heart in your mouth. It's the objects from everyday life that are among the most fascinating, the minutiae of life, like this little ink pot here, made from cow horn. Cow horn notoriously difficult to preserve. This one has lasted, as have two of the nibs along with it, still covered in ink. You can see the sort of ink pot on this painting here by Hans Holbein the Younger, a rather smart gentleman in his office with his inkwell. You may have thought that personal hygiene would be pretty low down on the list of priorities for a sailor on a Tudor warship, but you'd be wrong. More than 80 of these combs were found on the Mary Rose, most of them made of boxwood, and they have two sets of teeth. The widely spaced ones would be used for combing hair and beards, and the closely spaced teeth for removing nits. Some of the nits are still there. Nits weren't the only form of livestock that the divers found on the Mary Rose. They also discovered a rat. Just the one. Why? Well, because the ship had a very effective ratter in the shape of this dog, somewhere between a year and a half and two years old. It was found trapped in the hatchway of the carpenter's cabin, as a result of which it's been known ever since as Hatch. Right now, the Mary Rose Trust is engaged in building a brand new museum to house not only the Hulk itself in position where it is now, but also 14,000 of the artefacts. Of course, we need money to do that. 90% of that money has already been raised, but there's still another three million to go to make sure that this museum can open in 2012.